in St. Paul made him a legend. It was the straw in St. Paul, a marriage made in baseball heaven. Daryl needed the Saints, and the St. Paul Saints needed Daryl Strawberry. Kids, if you're out there, if you ever want to have some fun and see the world's most beautiful swing, go to YouTube and watch some Daryl Strawberry highlights. With Daryl's continuing commitment, both with his foundation, his speaking engagements, and other activities, his commitment to make people's lives better, in a sense, epitomizes what the St. Paul Saints have strived to be for the past 30 years. Good people with good hearts, and trying our best in however modest ways to make people's lives better. Midway, all the concourses were hidden and you couldn't really see the field. So you're so walking around in there and you can hear batting practice going on. And all of a sudden, sound. And there was no sound like it ever. We retired one out of 17. And you go forward. So I want to say thank you to you wonderful, amazing fans, amazing people here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Thank you for the love. I'm a four-time evangelist, so I preach the gospel, and I'm all over the country, but I had to shovel my schedule around to be here because I knew how important this would be to me and my family. And it's because of you guys. I love you guys more than you ever imagine. There's not many places. There's not many places I will go back to because I'm over baseball. But St. Paul, I will forever come back to St. Paul, forever and ever. Something remarkable happened 30 years ago, and there's a lot of history that goes with that. But the legacy of what these four gentlemen did is about what we're going to do tonight and what we're going to do tomorrow and what we're going to do next week. It's about playing baseball, the game we all love, and having fun. Mike Beck and Bill Murray, these two gents share so many attributes and gifts. They're creative and kind, entertaining and empathetic, smart and good-hearted. Each set very high expectations for their self, for themselves, and for those around them. And I love working for people like that. We're leaving this ball club just physically, and we're leaving it in better shape because with Derek and all of the Saints, Sierra, Lee, you are in wonderful hands and they understand how important. You all made every single dream that I ever had come true. And I want you to know that you created the model for what great baseball fans should be. And I'm appreciative! Get up and cheer yourselves! There is no better baseball experience than going to a St. Paul Saints baseball game. 
There is no place where you can have more fun with more fun people than at a St. Paul Saints baseball game. I grew up in Chicago and I grew up rooting for the Chicago Cubs and people say to me, you must hate the White Sox. No, I don't. I'm, I'm okay with the White Sox. And it's the same thing with Minneapolis. I'm okay with Minneapolis. I'm completely okay with that. But I love St. Paul. It was Van got us here and was Marv that like pushed us around and made us, you know, show up for work and stuff like that. We don't want to show up for work. And Mike made all the fun. And Andy Heidecoper and Tom Whaley, they taught all these people how to run a baseball team. And it is, the real proof is that everything we started doing here in the 1990s, all the major league teams do now in their ballpark. 93. Mark Goldfein, Vance Live, Bill Murray, and Mike Beck.